Welcome, in this episode, we will explore digital footprints and why they are deeper than most people assume. We will talk about some strategies you can adopt to protect yourself, and stop your footprint from widening online. If you find this episode useful, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Before we get into why your digital footprint goes deeper than you imagine, let's first start off by explaining what a digital footprint actually is. Your digital footprint is all the stuff you leave behind as you use the web. Think of it like a trail of breadcrumbs. Comments on social media, website visits, app use, and email records are all part of your online history. This can potentially be seen by other people or tracked in a database. This digital portrait is probably more public than we assume. This raises big concerns, as people don't realize the extent to which their data and activities online are being monitored and recorded potentially in a malicious way. Why is your digital footprint bigger than you think? On average people spend between 1 to 3 hours per day on the web. In younger generations, this is amplified. Everything you do online is monitored and collected. Every click, every like, every post, and every share. Your digital footprint may have even started before you even knew about the web. With family members posting photos and milestone updates of your early life on social media. Every form you fill in, subscription activated, free trial membership created has a ripple effect across the web which widens your footprint deeper. Most people don't realize that all this data about them builds up an online profile. This could be used for manipulation and exploitation. How do you leave a digital footprint? Your digital footprint is more complex than just the social media post here and there. There are plenty opportunities for companies, data collectors, and other organizations to collect data in a discreet and indirect fashion. Examples of some methods are through shopping activity, website visits, cookies, social media posts and even sharing content. Think about the last time you made an online purchase. This may have been through a retail giant such as Amazon, or a smaller independent brand. With every purchase you make a retailer can build up a profile of your shopping habits and interests, which can be used to allow targeted ads and email spam. Cookies and trackers are also stored on your browser to monitor your online activity, even after you have left a site. On a more concerning note, if such data falls into malicious hands, targeted phishing spam can be crafted to increase the likelihood of a successful attack. Let's take a look at an example. Think about this, imagine you have just been looking at a new bike online. You have visited many online stores to find the cheapest price for a particular model. You decide to have some thinking time and leave it for another day. Many online retailers now know that you are interested in a particular bike. This is done by storing cookies on your browser. You could have possibly visited a site that is not trusted which uses this data to send a phishing pop-up showing the bike at a discounted price. This type of spam has now been targeted at you as you had an intent in purchasing a bike. You now see this advertisement possibly a day after at a price which you think is great. Without being conscious of this, you may be likely to click on this ad and purchase the bike. In actual fact, you were a victim of a targeted scam. Let's look at how to reduce your footprint online. While it's not possible to have a non-existing footprint, the first steps toward reducing your digital footprint and managing your digital identity are not that hard. Let us take a look into some steps you should adopt to reduce your digital footprint. Firstly, delete all tracking cookies and browsing history from your computer regularly. Ad trackers will have a tougher time following you around if you delete your cookies on each of your devices. Apple, Google, and Microsoft have published instructions on how to clear data for their browsers Safari, Chrome, and Edge. Installing an ad blocker such as Adblock Plus, is also a wise decision to stop targeted ads from reaching you whilst you are browsing the web. The next very important step is to opt out of providing personally identifiable information. For example, you may not be required by law to provide your telephone number when making a purchase. 
In addition to this, only enter the bare minimum amount of information required. Optional inputs are only enhancing your online profile. Next, periodically purge your Google Ad History. Google offers the My Activity tool, where you can take a deep look at the data they have stored about you. Review security settings on social networks and stay updated on new features and settings. Additionally, you could use a private web browser such as Brave which is a very popular option for privacy. A key thing to remember that anything posted is public, even if your social network settings are private, as the information is stored on a server. We have talked about how to reduce your digital footprint but what if you are worried that too much is out there already? If this is the case, you should consider performing an audit of the accounts or profiles that you have created online. Most people will have created many accounts over time, for gaming, online shopping, socializing, or even just out of curiosity. These are easy to forget but important to manage. Make a note of accounts that you know you have but no longer use. From this curated list delete information and deactivate the accounts you no longer use. For some websites, this will be easy. You might even find that your web browser has saved your old usernames and passcodes. If you have forgotten your username, search through your email inboxes to find emails from the websites. Most large websites will have a process you can follow to retrieve your account details. Another strategy is to do a Google search of yourself, there may be old photos or account details that are still online. Having images online that you no longer wish to be seen, may have a damaging impact down the line. Think about a potential employer searching your name in a browser revealing things you may not want to be known. This could all stem from an innocent tagging in a friend's social media post. You can read more information about removing a photo from Google via the Help Center. With these strategies, you can help minimize your footprint and stay safe online. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like or comment and subscribe for future content.